Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Now, if you're using any kind of AI art generator to create book covers for your low and medium content books, you're probably gonna run across this issue where you have this image that you want to use, but the title is just not cutting it. Well, today I'm gonna show you how you can easily clean this up and put your own title and make it your own. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff, and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I've gone ahead and generated a couple images for this example using an AI art generator. And as you're gonna see, they're all gonna have the same issue with the title. We have a nice cover overall but we need to fix up this title before we can use it on our book. And what I'm gonna show you today can be used on coloring book covers, short story covers, novels, mostly any kind of cover that you can think of when using an AI art generator. So as you can see with the second image here, we need to clean this bottom part up. The third image, we need to clean this part up right here. And then the last image, we need to clean this up. So the way that we're gonna do this is by using Canva. So let's hop on over to Canva and let me show you how it's done. So the tool that we're gonna be using from Canva is called Magic Eraser. And what it does is it easily removes unwanted objects. So like these people here in the background and it erases them from the picture. So as you can see here, it says it instantly cleans up pictures online with Magic Eraser. It's a photo eraser that works like magic and you can seamlessly add or replace objects in your image. And finally, you can get creative with your cleaned up photo. One thing I wanna note is that this tool is part of Canva's pro membership. So it is a paid tool. You can't use it if you're just using Canva for free. That is just one little thing that I wanna point out. But with that being said, it is a very, very useful tool that I find myself using all the time when I'm creating interiors and covers for my books. Okay, so here we are on Canva and I have my template open to make my cover. So all you're gonna have to do is open it or you can drag the image straight into Canva. So that's what we're gonna do. And then now that we have it on our page, all we wanna do is line it up like we're creating a book cover. I'm gonna just position it to the back forward once and once we have that now we need to clean this up now all we need to do is click on the image and right here in the top left it should say edit photo we go ahead and click that and it should bring up this magic studio where we can see right here magic eraser is right here now if we click it should bring up the photo again with this brush size option and as you can see there's a circle on the page now we can mess with the brush size. As you can see, we can make it big and we can make it small, but we're just gonna keep it at 20. And then what we wanna do is we just want to click and drag as best we can, just removing what we want to remove, nothing more. And we wanna be really clean with this. And once we're done, lift off. And as you're gonna see, it's gonna erase the parts that we selected. And so as you can see, it erased most of it. Now, if you have leftovers, as you can see right here, all we have to do is do it again, just highlight it, and then this should clean it up completely. Now we're gonna do the same for the bottom part here. But as you can see, our brush size is a little bit too big, so we're gonna go ahead and make it smaller. So 10, 10 should work. And if you need to, you can also zoom in down here. You can zoom into the page or you can just use your scroll button and it'll zoom in for you. So now we just have to go and clean this up and make sure you select everything that you want. Don't leave anything out. And if there's any leftover, we can also clean that up again. And so there's a little bit left over here. So just go ahead and select it again and go and clean it up. Now that that's cleaned up, we can go ahead and get out of Magic Eraser. And then what we can do is we can now put our own text on it. So imagine it's your title, right? 
let's go ahead and do that. And then what we can do with this is we can go ahead and go to FX and put a curve on it and just a slight curve as you can see there. And then we can make it bigger and then we can change the font to whatever font that we like. As you can see, we have a title there and then we can also put another title here you know, maybe it's an activity book for kids we can just make this smaller try to fit it into this little area here that we cleaned up and then once again put that curve just a slight curve uh, take out that mold uh, make it smaller so as you can see we've cleaned it up and we've even put a title and a subtitle on this book to finish it off we can just put a color on the back let's just use this let's choose this color and there you go now let's move on to the next example okay so for our next example we're just going to repeat the same thing as we did with the first one click on the image choose edit photo choose magic eraser and then brush size is 20 i think that's okay and all we do is we just go ahead and hover over everything that we want taken out as you can see it cleaned it up and the great thing about this tool is that it keeps the same kind of background you can't even tell that there was something there and that's what's so great about this tool so we can go ahead and put a title on it Just gonna grab this and then change the color. And as you can see, in a matter of seconds, we've cleaned up that title from the AIR generator and put our own. So here we are with our next example. So if we go ahead and do the same thing as we've been doing with the other two, Edit photo, magic eraser, and let's go ahead and clean this part up first. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and clean this part up. And as you guys can see, this is really easy to do. It doesn't really take any time at all. And then with this bottom one, we want to decrease our brush size. I'm going to make it seven and then just go ahead and clean up everything that you want. And I'm going to clean it up a little bit more here. And now that it's cleaned up, you can see that it's ready for us to put a title on there. And now for our final example is this cover of a children's book. We just want to clean up everything here in the sun. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Now let's zoom in a little bit. And I think this size will work just fine. So let's start up here and just drag around everything that we want to clean up. Let's go ahead and take all this out here and I'm going to take out a little bit of this white speckle because we're going to be putting a title on here and so we want it to be somewhat clean and there we go it's clean and it's ready for us to put a title on let's go ahead and put a title here and just find something like this as you can see how much better it looks when we clean up that title from the AI art generator and put our own. As far as the back cover is concerned, you can reuse the image if you wanted to, and you can flip it. If that's something that you wanted to do. And we can put it to the back here and just show the spine. But as you can see in no time at all, we've gone and taken an AI art generated book cover, cleaned up the title, and put our own title, and now it's ready to be uploaded onto KDP.
Well, there you have it, guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what kind of video you want to see from me next. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.